Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Ghost Shadow, and welcome to another Ghost Chat review. Now, this is on the transportation legend at Alton Towers, the Skyride. A wonderful attraction, always love doing it. Uh, we're going to check out the history and also share my thoughts on it because people might look on this review and think, well, hang on a minute, why are you reviewing a cable car at Alton Towers when you've got so many attractions to choose from? Um, I felt it necessary to review the Skyride because I think it does deliver some interesting experiences and, of course, there is a bit of history with the, the audio that plays on the ride, uh, the colour of the ride, the colour of the stations, you know, past instants. Um, you know, and it's it's great to look on the history of that. So we're going to look on the history of that, share my thoughts on it, and share why I think this is a transportation ride from paradise. Uh, before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling theme park video. Also, guys, make sure you go into the description down below where not only can you find the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas, but also, guys, make sure you go and find the links for Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. More ways to connect with Coaster Chow. And also, guys, the Discord server is linked down below as well, where you can be part of the Coaster Chow fan base and potential interactive videos in the future. Also, guys, I know a couple of you have uh, commented or messaged me about it. Um, StreamYard. The, the, the stream went brilliantly on New Year's Eve. I am looking to do more StreamYard, so hopefully you, we can get you guys onto the channel, uh, do some one question goes using StreamYard, uh, so that will be cool as well. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the history and then my thoughts on the brilliant Skyride at Alton Towers. So this was manufactured by Poma and was opened on the 28th of March, 1987, and refurbished on the same day in 2009. It has a length of 1,048 metres of skyline track, a maximum height of 61 metres and approximately 4 metres a second max speed, with an average speed of 2.8 miles a second and station speed of 0.35 miles a second. And it's either miles or metres, it says MS, so we'll go with MS. Uh, passengers per gondola is 10, we've got 52 gondolas in total and a 5 minute duration experience. Now, the Skyride was originally installed in 1987 through Alton Towers had cable cars many years prior to this. The 1960s system followed the same route to the Skyride, but only travelled from Tower Street to the area where Forbidden Valley is today. The old system was quite limited with a maximum capacity of four people per car, as the gondolas and cable were not as strong as the system used today. Due to the increase in popularity of the theme park and the upcoming development of Forbidden Valley, it was decided that an introduction of a more modernised cable car system was necessary. The new gondolas designed and manufactured by Poma, whilst the engineering was implemented by Sir Robert McAlpine. Not only did Alton choose to upgrade the system, the decision was also made uh, to extend the cable to Cloud Cuckoo Land with the addition of a third station conveniently located close to the towers themselves. The new system consisted of a fleet of much larger gondolas, each one able to carry up to 12 people, as well as wheelchairs and accessible uh, push chairs, making it much more of an accessible experience uh, with the push chairs and wheelchairs. For many years, the tinted brown gondolas were part of the, one of the iconic skylines of the towers. They floated serenely over the gardens. Other than occasional wind-based issues due to the ride's high altitude, the Skyride operated largely without issue for almost 20 years. However, during the 2007 Scarefest, a fire broke out in the Forbidden Valley Station, gutting the roof and damaging the workings of the ride. Whilst damage was repairable, it meant the ride closed for a six-month period for work to be carried out before eventually reopening midway through 2008. By this stage, the gondolas were showing their age, and in fact, several had already been decommissioned, reducing the ride's capacity. It was therefore decided to replace the fleet uh, for the 2009 season with the multicolored cars used in today's Alton Towers. After just a few months of operation with its new gondolas, calamity struck again on the night of the 21st of July 2009, as a second fire in less than two years tore through the Cloud Cuckoo Land station entirely, devastating the building. Over the following closed season, the station was redesigned and rebuilt, ready to open for 2010. Despite these incidents, the Skyride was a floating paradise for Alton Towers Resort. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, that is the Skyride history. Now my thoughts on it. Now for the past, for the first couple of years, first two, three years of being enthusiast, I remember the old Cloud Cuckoo Land station all too well. Absolutely, completely remember it. Um... It was a wonderful station. It was beginning to show its age in places. Uh, however, uh, when the 2009 refurbishment came about and then the Cloud Cooker Land's brand new station after the old one got damaged by the fire, um, I, I found it necessary to you, you, to go ahead with change. You know, I, I quite liked change at the time. So it was interesting to see the brand new station. I think it was wonderful. I think it was a much needed refurbishment anyway. Um, I think the new trains as well, the new Skyride gondolas were, were really good as well. And I liked the, the multicolored aspect. Now, one thing I forgot to mention during the history of the ride was the audio. The audio has had a rich, rich history. You look back on the 2012 audio uh, when it was doing the announcement. You know, the, the classic, please say tight on board whilst on board the Skyride. Um, that kind of audio. And overall, you know, it's had a rich history, that audio with the ride. And, you know, it's gone from the 2012 informative audio telling you about the brand new attractions, Ice Age, the 40 Experience, or Nemesis of Terror, your worst nightmare underground. Of course, both rides now closed. Um, it's gone through quite a, a quite a, de a decent period with the audio history. And, of course, it went into 2014, then 2017 with different audio. And, you know, you get the current audio now. It's quite... Quite dreamy audio, isn't it? There's not there's, there's some informative information still. Um, we've still we still had like information read out on the ride, but at certain points. Um, but the the dreamy audio, you know, da, 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 da. Um, I can't remember it off by heart entirely, but I knew it had that kind of feel to it. Um, but the Skyride overall has been a magical experience. I mean, you've got to, I mean, those of you who can think back to the original cable cars, comment down below because I want to see some retro Alton Towers fans in this video in the comment section uh, and watching this video because I want to see if you guys can remember the cable cars, the classic cable cars from the 80s and 90s. Um, you know, and then before this, before the Skyride came in. And when the Skyride came in, I think it was a much needed change to that cable cost, especially with the popularity of Alton Towers growing with the addition of Forbidden Valley the year before, uh, with the Nemesis being open, which is Secret Weapon 3. Um, you know, the Thunderlooper was there, Ripsaw was a, a few years away, the Blade came in, relocated for, well, the Blade was going to come in, relocated from, um, from from the old Fantasy World era, which is now X Sector, uh, you know, so Ripsaw and Blade were too far away, they, they were still a few years away from coming into Forbidden Valley, but you had the Nemesis, you had the, the Beast at the bottom, and you had the uh, Thunderlooper, and I think the Skyrim was a much needed change, it was a much needed addition, and of course by that point, 1990, you had things like Toyland Tours in the land of make-believe. Uh, I said I was going to do reviews of past and present areas or look at past and present areas and reviews and closed but not forgotten videos. Um, and I think the land of make-believe is something I want to look at. Um... Because that was an incredible children's area. And you look at how the Skyride sort of made the popularity grow and grow and grow with Alton Towers over the years. And, you know, does the Skyride need, need another refurbishment? Some people would say yes, some people would say no, some people would say 50-50. I wouldn't do a massive overhaul like they might plan to do with Nemesis, or what I think they should do with Jewel, um, or maybe the Monorail as well. That needs a major refurbishment in my opinion. That needs brand new trains, brand new audio, brand new painted stations. It needs a complete refresh uh, the Monorail for a year or so. And, you know, should the Skyride go through that? At this point, maybe, maybe not. I think that maybe we'd like to see some repainted uh, stations, maybe give the Skyride its own brand. Uh, so maybe give it like its own logo, its own, you know, you know, improve the audio, whether it's keeping the current one or or get I'm a score in, make a brand new soundtrack for the Skyride, get some announcements on there as well. The classic days of the Skyride. Um, maybe get a queue line video, maybe redo the gondolas and put like a queue line video or like a video in the gondolas. Um... Um, I, I mean, to be fair, one branding that I want to see back at the Alton Towers Resort, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I certainly remember it as a kid. Um, do you remember the old monorail queue line videos from like 0304? Like and it was uh, when Jewel first opened, it was the birds. It was the it was Russell um, and Jeff, the, the two birds. Um, I like that branding. If they can bring back 
that in the modern way or bring back that kind of brand into the park. I'd love that park even more. Uh, and especially bring it into the sky ride. The birds can fly. Birds can fly. Bring it into the sky ride. It'd be brilliant. Um, but yeah, I think just like some light refurbishment work here and there to the sky ride just to make it a little bit better would be brilliant. But I think the major overhaul would be rather to the monorail rather than the sky ride. Um, so there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this Coast Shell review on the sky ride at Alton Towers. We've got plenty more reviews set to come um, over uh, this season. So stay tuned for all of that. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a sky ride. Tastic.